Um, today my mom is going to be recreating this, but it's going to be on a sprayed rock. If you can see that, it's got a glare and she's going to try to do bubbles, but this one isn't too good. And so, yeah, I'll let the boss take care of everything. <laughs> Want me to tag some uh, people? No, that's okay. I don't feel too good tonight, so I might not be as chipper. But I told y'all I would try and redo the bubbles on a sprayed rock. So I'm going to, this is what we did last night. And it looked okay, but I didn't seal the rock first, so they, I couldn't blend the white real good. So I'm going to recreate that. Ivy, put it down. Okay, so I sprayed this with the Kmart varnish. You can kind of see the little bit of sheen to it, so that protects the rock. We're going to do take two of bubbles, and I'm using a darker blue spray. And this is what you're going to wrap with. Yeah. Tell them what color it is. This is Baja Blue. That is? I thought that was sailboat. No, this is Baja. Give me the airbrush so I could spread this around. Wait, wait. What? Oh. It nearly fell. Turn it on. Let's put it down. So all I did was spray some alcohol ink on it. She wants it lighter. I want it. I don't want to spray too much alcohol Tell ink. Tell what that is. This is just rubbing alcohol. 91% rubbing alcohol that I'm squirting on here to kind of... Has to be 91. Spread the ink around. And then I'm drying it with my airbrush. And she used... And I used Baja Blue that I put in a squirt bottle with alcohol. I put like a quarter of alcohol ink and then the rest rubbing alcohol to make a spray. And it'll stink. And also... So there's my this. background for the bubbles. And then I'm taking just regular old alcohol. This is called a master. master brush. I got it on Amazon. It was like 80 bucks. That's what it looks like. Do you want to screenshot that? It's very heavy. Okay. <laughs> and that's just what I like to use because that's what I have. So I'm just filling up my little palette here with regular old 91% alcohol so that I can do the bubbles. Hopefully we have a clean brush this time. Wait, there's yellow in there. Son of a goodness. Let's put it in this one. Okay. Looks pretty clean. So then I'm going to go through and add my dots to make the bubbles. You can barely see. Kathy's watching. Hi, Kathy. Can y'all see? And because it's a sealed rock it's harder it's well it's easier oh. to blend the colors once i get some bubbles down it's gonna be blue now because there's blue in there that's okay we want it to be a little blue And if I just drop some dots, they separate too, but I wanted to kind of get some bigger ones <coughs> going. Sorry, folks, I had a stomach bug today. I just haven't felt 100% all day. But Ivy reminded me that I told y'all I would do this today, so I'm doing it. We will get through, and then I'll go relax some more. So you can kind of see the bubbles that I'm making. Leah, you can see it? Yeah, because I asked them, can you see? Okay. Yeah, it's kind of hard to, to see. So I'm just making little circles to kind of make it look like raindrops. We have 10 people watching or nine. My sister Liz said they look like bubbles, not raindrops, because raindrops aren't round. But my raindrops are round. <laughs> Not all raindrops are like tears. Yeah. Okay, so we have a few raindrops. You can see that I've got 
And here's Little what dots. you, here's one. This is what we did last night. Um, it's lighter. This one's a darker blue. It's Baja. That okay. one was so I'm going to make sure that's dry. Just by blowing air on it. No color. No color. It's just blue and alcohol. And then I'm going to use the white. No cap. Instead of my Posca pen, I'm using white. That's right. You decide what your raindrops look like. Yes. I make my raindrops what I want them to look like. Not what my sister thinks they should be. Ha ha. Okay, so now I've got a little white in my palette. And I'm just going to dab some on the brush. And it's a porcelain. And Whatever that means. Oh, my palette is porcelain instead of plastic. So I'm going to... Rachel's watching. Do this again. I know I deleted my other video because I wasn't happy with it. Can you give me a little bottle of... A little thing of alcohol? Oh, yeah. Just a little bowl of a little alcohol. Rachel's watching. Hey, Rachel. I'm trying to make bubbles. Elaine's crooked bubbles, as my sister calls them. Now you can see how much easier it is to blend when your rock is sealed. See that one? Well, it's still wet. But it actually blends better than the one I did last night on a non-sealed rock. And all I'm doing is dipping my brush in rubbing alcohol. 91. 91%. And blending out the top part of my bubbles. Ooh, this stuff stinks. Or raindrops. That's fine. I just put rubbing alcohol in a little bowl. Ooh. Maybe. And I'm just doing the tops and then going back and blending it. Okay, I have one here. And one here. They look like white rainbows. Watch your hair. It's getting in the alcohol ink. I'm bending a bit. Oh yeah. It already looks like it's got alcohol ink all over it. <gasps> You can see my little bubbles. Trina said this is hard to watch and cook at the same time. Oh, well. Bring me some food. I haven't eaten all day because I've got a tummy problem. Stomach bug. I did have some soup at lunch, but that didn't stay with me very long. So y'all see how... It's much easier to blend on a sealed rock. And I can actually get that crisp white at the top. That one I kind of took too much away from. If y'all have questions, ask. Ivy can see my screen. Yes, I'm right here. There's 15 people watching. 15 people watching, that's great. Okay, guys, we're at like 200 or 195 subscribers on our YouTube channel, and me and Ivy are going to have a cake if we get up to 200. So if you have not subscribed, I know I've been begging all week, but we want to get up to 200 subscribers because we're we at think, 195. We think that's a pretty big deal. So if you have not subscribed, go do it after, after our video. There should be a red button. There's a red button that says subscribe. Oh no. And those are all my rescue dogs that bark anytime somebody even gets up. Ivy's gonna let them out. We have a Yorkie and two Chihuahuas, and they are, um, thank you, Trina. I feel a little better, but my stomach's still not 100%. Oh man, they're so It's weird because I felt fine last night, and then just out of the blue, it was like exorcist vomiting. Sorry, I know y'all don't want to hear about my vomiting, but. How do we get from 15 to 9? People left. They're cooking dinner or doing something. Okay, so. Now that I've kind of blended these out a little better. Got one more to do up here. And I did it on a small rock so that it didn't take a whole lot of time to Here, I'll get a close-up. Well, wait, let me finish this one, then we can get a close-up. That 
one's a little too white for me. My Ruby is looking at the screen and we're trying to find the puppies. Oh, they're outside. Okay, so I did the whites. And then I'm going to come back and do a little dark on the bottom and continue to blend. And I've got we have a, puppy a little black on here from last night that's still good. I just got to put a little alcohol with it and it'll reactivate. And we're going to try not to mess this up this time. Actually, last she time is a... that was last night's. It's just these didn't blend very good. What is that word? Da... A dachshund. Ours is a dachshund chihuahua mix. And then we have a full-blooded chihuahua that likes to eat everything. And then we have a full-blooded Yorkie that... Her name's Ruby. ...wandered into my yard one night. I found her, but no. Okay, someone... see how there's the black that I did? All I'm going to do is try and blend that in. You just want to make sure your brush is clean and you don't have too much black on there. Otherwise, you'll ruin your bubble. <gasps> oh. What? I have a dachshund teacup chihuahua <gasps> and a pit. And a pit bull? Aww. Teacup So now I'm putting a little more white over this. Well, our chihuahua is fat. Yeah, Rico is fat. Rico. And this just kind of gets it a little darker on the bottom. And a little lighter on the top. Should we show him Rico? No, Rico's too fat to show anybody. They'll think we're abusing our dogs because he eats the neighbor's hot dogs. Not all the time. And I'm just going over it and blending it till I get the look that I want. And that's the main thing is it's not quick. It's not easy. You just got to keep working it. And Rico's I wish, like 40 years old. I wish I had a picture of the one that I did last week because it turned out so good. Wayne is watching. It. First time watching. This is cool. Wayne and Faith, hey. Okay, so I think I'm a little happy with this one. So all that time on one little droplet. It looks kind of dark here on the screen, but it's not, it actually looks pretty good in person. So now I'm gonna do it again on the next one. And we'll get a couple of these done pretty quick that you can see how it looks. Are you gonna write Oops. on it? I can, I can write on it. It's hot in here. It is kind of warm. And then I'll put grass. That's why I didn't put too many bubbles on this one because I wanna put the grass on there and show y'all how I did the grass. seeing how this is done just doing little blocks hey lame how are you today okay that one looks pretty okay It's weird painting with something above my head. I mean, it's like way up here and my head's over here so that I'm not in the way. I'm usually like right over my painting. I'm adding a little more white to this one because I didn't like the way it looked. Mm, I'm just gonna hold on. The point is to have it lighter on the top, darker on the bottom. What are you doing, Ivy? Oh, Ivy's trying to get up close. When you get up close, they look kind of funny because they're being worked on. There's one that she's already done. She's working on that one. Let's see how that looks. That looks like a raindrop. Not really, but whatever. <laughs> it does look like a raindrop. Once we add the so grass. Half here. is a raindrop. Raindrops and whatever you want to call it. Bubbles. 
Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Rain bubbles. I want to get a little more black. That's what we called it before, rain bubbles. I'll put a little black on this one. Guess my black's dried up. A little black, a little black. Happy little black dots. Yeah. Channel our inner Bob Ross. These are kind of dark, so I'm gonna have to work these pretty good. I'm tired. And all I'm doing is putting rubbing alcohol on it to try and blend it because I sealed the rock this time, so it makes it a little easier to work with. And you could do drops. You could actually do um, teardrop shaped ones and do darker on the bottom, lighter on the top, same difference. That one looks pretty good. We're just making bubbles for anybody that's popped on. Showing y'all kind of how I did my bubbles. I might come back and add a little more white on some of these. It worked. What, what'd you do? Make chapstick? Yeah. Bit of she made some chapstick out of some little kit she got it Tuesday morning. She likes to make stuff. Yeah, now my hands are oily. So do these look like bubbles to y'all? Or raindrops? I think they do. Mega cool. I have never used alcohol ink paint. It's messy. That's why I'm wearing gloves. This one needs a little more white in it. So mama has a lot. Of oh, give me some. Give me the lime green. Limeade? Limeade. Limeade. Ouch. Limeade. Limeade, limeade. It's in there somewhere. Okay, I want to get a little more white for the tops of some of these that I've blended away. But this is pretty much all you do, and then you just blend it out. I think we found our winner. Did you find the winner? And I just dropped it. Get it for me, because I'm going to show them how to do the grass. And then we'll write, try to write something on it as an angle. The Lumeline said, gotta go. Hubby is taking me to dinner. Oh, that's nice. Enjoy your dinner. I'll put this on YouTube. Okay, we're almost done here. Almost done. And if you were just doing this on regular paper, you could just do white. Boop. That's kind of got a lot of alcohol on it. You could just do white and then the black. You don't have to do the background first. Okay, I think I'm happy with some of my bubbles. They look like they're floating. Now we're gonna add in the grass for the bottom. Let me dry these. Bye. And I think I sprayed it before I did this, but I'm just gonna do this, so hopefully it won't ruin it. But I'm putting my green, which is I showed him. Limeade. Oh, okay. In my little palette. Well, that was a lot. Okay, got my green. And then I'm gonna that one. take my brush and dip it in here. Kind of get it good and juicy. <laughs> and then put it on my rock at the bottom. 
Actually, I'm gonna do it with this hand. Put it at the bottom. Oh, my, your hand might be in the way. Oh, and then, yep. And then spray it up. This might not be dark enough green, I mean. Well, you told me to get that green. So see how the green's coming up to make it look like grass. The darker? That one's too dark. No, it ain't. That's the one that you used. Is it? So. See how it's making grass? And it kind of looks like it's going over the bubbles. Yeah, we'll put a little reinforcement in there too. Let me add a little bit of rainforest. A little bit of pinata rainforest. This is a dark, dark green. It's almost too dark. It's almost like a bluish green. Okay, here we go. Let's see how this turns out. Just adding a little bit more depth to the grass. Ivy. Sorry, I had to put my hair up. Oh, it's hot. It is hot. We live in Texas. So when I get my little grass pieces the way I want. So, see my grass? Looks like it's going up. And then you got your bubbles. It or looks your... underwater. Now it looks more 3D, doesn't it? Now that it's got the grass on there. Looks like it's underwater. So, should I put something on this? Should I write something on there? Yeah, comment. If you want me to write something on there, tell me what you want me to write. First person who tells... We type something to write, we'll write it on there. I'm just making sure it's dry. But that is it. It could be like And then you just write a pretty word. I do have that, that one script that I did. Where is it? Whoa. What? I almost fell. Huh? I almost fell. Let me find it. Let me find it. Bear with me. Oh. oh, Lori wants it to be make a wish and Trina wants it to be faith. Faith? Or make a wish. This won't fit on there, I don't think. No. Make a wish. Who wants it to be make a wish and who wants it to be faith? I like faith because that's fun for me to write. You've done enough of faith. I like the faith rocks. But you've done enough of those. Make a wish? Okay, we'll do make a wish. Okay. Sorry, Trina. <laughs> Sorry, Trina. We'll do your word next time. Next time, even if it's a bad word, we'll do it. Ha. Huh. Put this up. Okay, let me do make a wish. Let me write it here first. Using a Posca. Uni. That this one's kind of dry. That one's kind of dry. Is that how you want it to be? A little bit prettier. Well, yeah, but. Okay. Make a wish. And I'm going to kind of write it at an angle.
It's all good. Right. LOL. Nope. No bad words for me. Oh, that's no fun. Okay, my hand's going to be in the way, folks. Yeah. So you make it darker? On your down. On down strokes. All you see is the M. All you see is the M. It's not that hot. Yes, it is. My little nub on my pen has kind of gone down. Make. A. That's a small A. Well, I know it's a small A. Wish. It'll look better when I fill it in. I'm hungry. You're hungry. And then we go up and then we go down. Can I get thicker? Down. Down. Make a wish. <clears throat> and then we need one more little thing on there. Where One more little thing. Is this gonna work? I always make wishes when blowing bubbles or dandelions. Always. So there we go. Make a wish. And now how how it all looks 3D. It looks like the words are. Oh actually... my gosh, that one looks Wait, so. The... Be careful, the heart's oh. still wet. Look, like, those two look so 3D. Yeah, because the grass is going through them. Oh, that looks like it's popping up. And like... then the words, it's it's neat how it looks 3D. See, like. Yeah. Looks like 3D. it's poking out. All right, guys, there's my how to make bubbles or rain. And we added make a wish on that one. And some grass. Because Lori asked us to. Yes, Lori wanted us to write make a wish. So there you have it. That's how you do the bubbles and you can add the grass and my heart's still a little wet, but And we used Rainforest Green. Rainforest by Green Jacquard Pinata and Limeade. Um, Limeade and by Snowcap White. Ranger. So that is all. If y'all have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll leave this up for tonight, and then I'll take it down and put it on my YouTube. Thank you. Bye. Bye.